Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Wait. Huh? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? Yeah, my name is... A fine name indeed. 
From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Wait, what do they want from me? I... I have to walk here? As a servant? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You huh? heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. So why not you? That damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. You're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire, their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, Please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. 
I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. All right, hello, I'm Chog, 14 minutes in, and let's get into this. So, uh, in this game, we actually have the ability to explore around Garrick Mark. And well, while we're doing this, there could be a couple of things for us to be able to do. Uh, I just want to check my notes real quick. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, if we look over here, you can see that Lady Rhea has something for us. Our first task. I you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? It has come to my attention. Please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May All right. I ask a favor of you? So yeah, here we can see she's asking us to do that. Speak to the house leaders, get information. Uh, if we do so, we get rewards, uh, for this one, a sword, a voluntary, and some money, so I shall accept. So, yeah, quests are gonna be given, those who can give on, uh, on Vaultland Quest have icons by them, yes. And, yeah. Uh, so, situations like this, where I'm gonna be up and about in the monastery, are gonna be their own episodes. I see no reason to separate these into longer episodes or different episodes. So, yes, also we have the chance to pretty much talk to almost everybody, so... Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. I want to say by talking to people, we actually do gain some... Uh, friendship with them. And, well, for this first day, I want to say there's not too much. 
Although it doesn't hurt to like explore around a little bit, maybe you can find some hidden items and little goodies out and about. But I want to say right now we're on the second floor of the monastery oh, itself. And unfortunately it is broken up to different parts, so yeah. Uh, mini map in the top right, just I don't think I have to explain anything about that. Uh, I believe there's something here. Oh, I just haven't loaded in yet. I was a betting man. I would assume this is probably an amiibo thing. I don't have any amiibo, so I won't be using those. Anyways, looks like we got Edelgard right down here. Oh, okay, I was gonna say I'm hearing people, but I don't see people. They all just spawned in out of nowhere. All right. Oh, the dots of people. Okay. So yeah, the Sunshine Stores here is in my class. Is that a tattoo on Petra's face? Mercedes seems a bit eccentric. Yeah, you're gonna get like little dialogue bits. Hello there. Aw, oh, kitty kitty kitty. I wanna say the animals do have some maybe uses. I don't know if that's a proper word and whatnot. Uh looking around, seeing what people have to say can give you a little bit more information about the people that are going to be found out here. Leonard always seems to be laid back. Lawrence is a true noble. Ash is best. Totally un... Anyways. It'll go. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbelk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? So yeah, this is essentially a way to get to know the people and the classes. So here we can see that in the Black Eagles we got Edelgard, Hubert, Ferdinand, Ferdinand Lindhardt, Casper, Berndetta, Dorcia, and Petra. So if we start with, over with Edelgard... Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. So, if we do this one, we can ask her again for her, uh, I guess, talking about herself. We can get in close, as well as you can see her current level, and we can't get everything. I think there's another one for that. But, uh, I think I'm going to save all of these for a bonus episode that should be coming out the same time as this episode so i won't be doing these right now instead of moving on but uh if you're interested in learning more about them as well as everyone well looking at the class seeing what she has to say about everybody and them as well as their personal stat upgrades stat yeah i know what i mean Set level up chances and all that. I'm gonna talk about that there. I won't be talking about everything. Like, I, as I said, I only play with one house. I don't know how everybody actually works. So I won't give you, I can't give you my opinion on like every character and how they all work. Although with the internet out there, you can always find out people, what people think and say about every character in the game. Either way, hello there. Greetings, you must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Good job. Keep up the good work. Uh, I think if we hit X, yeah, we can see our goals. We can also see the roster, which I believe is another way, yes, for you to be able to see everybody as well as get a lot more detailed information about them. Uh, from their age, their height, you can even see their crest and whatnot. So this is something else to keep in mind, that some people are going to have crests, while others do not. Uh, crests will have different things. We kind of saw claws in the previous episode. A minor crest inherited, blah blah blah. Sometimes we saw the HP equal to 30% of the damage dealt when using combat arts. Compared to Dimitri, who has this one, occasionally doubles the attack and weapon use for combat arts. And Edelgard. Sometimes raises might when using combat arts. So, yes. And again, you're gonna get people that don't get it. You can also see everybody's uh, class. So we got things like Noble and Commoner. 
Uh, let's just go back to you. Their affiliation, their level, health. It also gives you this about all the stats and everything else. I'm not gonna go over all of this right now or at all. Uh, you can also see some people have some equipped stats as well as abilities. We also have one. Professor's Guidance multiplies z multiplies this unit and adjacent allies expands by 1.2. Multiplies expands by 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, but that's only for them. So because of this, it's a very useful stat and very useful as long as you're near your own students if you want to give them level ups. And other people, again, will have their own stuff, their own abilities and whatnot. So something else to keep in mind when choosing a class, uh, yeah, choosing a class to guide or just students that you may want to have well taken. I believe there's also the inventory. Go to the items. I only have the volunteer that I had from last time. Support is something I'll talk about later on. And I thought there was, but I guess not. Uh, storehouse, I want to say, is just a way of storing items, saving the game, uh, guides, options, yeah. Uh, you can do things like your battle options, your monastery options, your general options. I thought there was a thing for the map. Maybe that's not till later on. Oh, well. We can see where our quests are based around the platforms, but we can't see where all the students are unless we get close. The Golden Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. So yeah, uh, normal students are going to be in white, whereas our class-specific students are going to be in yellow dots. Anyways, it would be the Black Eagle House. What do you think? Well, it showed off the Black Eagles, but this one is the... Yeah, this one is the Golden Deer. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia Von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. That sounds like a long name. Okay, we can talk to people, learn more about them. I see no reason not to do this. Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. So yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice to be able to talk to the students, see everybody, get to know them. The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald. You also get a lot more of their personalities. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? <laughs> I don't know how you're his, uh, apprentice. You look younger than I am, so I would have met you if that's the case. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. <laughs> wow. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. So, yeah, you can see some people you might like, some people maybe not so much. Anyways. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Yes, but not right now. And yeah, we've already talked to... Uh, well, we talked to the people in the classroom. Yeah. And we still have Dimitri to find out, but also doesn't hurt to go see the other okay. houses as well. The Fortnite of the Blue Lions. Belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. All right. Hey, hey. hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved His Highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This Are you hiding? To do. He <laughs> serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued His Highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Yeah, uh, thing about the do, 
Uh, alongside Hilda of the Golden E... Uh, Golden Eagles. Of the Golden Deer and Hubert of the Black Eagles. They are all what you could call, I guess, the main servants to the Lord. So essentially the second in command. Uh, that will be important for stuff later on, anyways. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and, uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy! Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Hmm. So nice people. And I want to say every house is sort of, um, mixed well. Like, every every class is going to have your, an axe user, a lance, right. a sword, a bow, magic users. Like, it, it's not going to be just one class, so they do try to even things up a little bit. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. So, something to just keep in mind when you're looking at people. I, uh... Like, obviously not everyone is going to be, like, so fantastic at a class compared to some other people, but that's also to be expected. You can't have everybody that's great in one class, can we? What? I don't talk to strangers! Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. So if you're the legitimate son, does that mean there's an illegitimate son? Oh. Well, aren't you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? You have two oh, different colored eyes. Dorothea. She does. Before I joined the academy, I think she does. Of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. I know, it could be her hair, but it looked like she had, like, a red eye. Yeah, it was just from the, uh, from the distance. It looked like she had a red and a green eye to me. Whoa, is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. Geesh, Linhard. How'd you get into the academy with those manners? So, are you a student here, too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. Thank you. I am Hubert. A humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I heard you came to the aid of Her Highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Brigid to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlin terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh... I am pleased to have met you. Alright, so, uh, doesn't seem to have a full grasp of the language, but still, honestly, pretty good. Hello. Someone that probably had a loan in all on her own. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am That's all fine. Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. Thank you. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Maybe. But again, that's for later on. So yes, for this we have now completed our task, and yes, uh, we shall receive these rewards. I guess I should uh, return. We can continue exploring around a little bit, although I'm pretty sure, again, there's nothing else for us to do other than maybe see a couple other students talking. But yeah, I think we're good enough to just go. And I believe we have to go this way. What's that? 
The professor's room is on the second floor. Oh yeah, we might be able to find Henneman, although he might be with Lady Rhea. Okay, yes, there is something we can do out here. Cyril, hello there. I'm real busy, so could you please move along now? Thanks. Okay now, what else did Lady Rhea need doing today? Uh, see, no, he has a yellow orb, but he's not a student, as well as there are two other yellowish orange orbs out here. Here I Three. am again, the office of the Captain of the Knights. That said, I'm merely here to assist. Apparently, the current captain is getting on in years. I hear the captain has a hard time keeping up with the responsibilities of the job. Ah, oh, that's where I come in. Get a feeling that's why I'm going to be coming in a few years myself, if that's the case. All right, over here we got Henneman. This is my research laboratory. I've worked hard to furnish it with the rare materials and purpose-built equipment required for my work. So, this is your crest analyzer, is it? I can investigate it. What could this crest be? Well, we do have a crest, so that's good. But you don't have anything to say. Okay. It's just some odd-looking crest, but oh well. Then again, all the crests kind of look interesting. And hello there, I'm Manuela. Dropping by so soon? I expected we'd take some time, exchange a few smiles as we passed in the hall, flirt a bit, you know. Well, you're here now, and I do like a man who knows what he wants. Lock the door. Huh, that welcome didn't phase you at all, did it? What's the matter? Don't you like me? Or are you just so innocent you don't understand me? <laughs> all right, uh, I think we're good. I believe there's a little library up here. And there's a bunch of books that can be read out there. That might be another bonus episode. Either way, to the audience chamber! How's it should return? How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. So with that, we have a choice. Do we take the Black Eagles, led by Edelgard? The Blue Lions, led by Dimitri? Or the Golden Deer, led by Claude? I made my choice before, and it is going to be... The Blue Lions for this playthrough. A house for students from the Kingdom of Fogus. Most valued chivalry and excel in military arts. So you have chosen the Blue Lions led by Dimitri, correct? That is correct. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, does this mean our new professor is... No, 
I really can't believe it. But I was speaking to you so casually, as though we were companions. Oh, I am so sorry, Professor. You just look the same age as the rest of us, and... Oh, and, and I'm sorry I just said that to you. I really must watch my tongue. I don't mind if you treat me as a friend. Well, we're all probably about the same age. I just don't know about all of this. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but if the professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is, if your highness can consent to such a thing. After all, we're already speaking this way to our future king, so we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. <sighs> I concede. If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't have to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, professor? Having heard of your skills, I'm eager to meet you in battle. Come to the training ground later. There, you will show me what you're capable of. You aren't wasting any time, are you, Felix? As it were, count me in for any such battle. <laughs> Pardon me, but I would also love to observe you in battle for future reference, if that's okay with you. Ash, I won't have you speak of merely watching. You should join us as well. <laughs> If you get injured, simply say the word and I'll patch you up straight away. Your Highness, do take care not to go overboard. You worry too much to do. I'll be fine, I promise. My companions, is there not something inherently wrong with crossing blades as a way to bond with each other? Huh, I never thought of it that way. Well, if that's how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground? Ingrid, my dearest friend! You really are too harsh on me. Well then, Professor, what do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch, but you'll find none who work harder. I'm certain we'll cause our fair share of trouble, but I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. And with that, I believe this might be the end for this one. Yes, as the game's giving me this little bit of a tip, the fact that reinforcements can sometimes appear in strongholds and staircases. So, I believe with that, we'll be moving over to the mock battle in the next episode. Unless I'm forgetting something, this episode has been going on long enough, if you ask me. Oh, there are apparently new places to explore in the monastery. And we also got money. So because we're a professor, we will get money at the start. I believe it's the start of every month. But considering we're pretty much at the near end of the Great Tree Moon, it's just going to give it to us now. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Might as well tell me now. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh, and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Yeah, so we've seen the three house leaders actually have one. The nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And you believe that I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. 
That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. So, yeah, do we need, uh, do what you can to find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. All right, hmm. Professor, thank you. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... <laughs> what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Good talk, Professor. Good talk. Okay, so the last, I guess, Saturday of each week, we'll get out here, Academy Uniform, oh yeah, DLC stuff, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to worry about all this stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff is in open. Professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. So yeah, uh, the calendar is always going to be different for every month, and it might be easier to talk about than anything else. Okay, so no, we can actually explore the, the area again, which is what the thing wants to do. We can do seminars, which are essentially lectures held by others in the church. It's essentially a way for our character to be able to gain skills in classes that we may not be good at. So if I'm like, oh man, I want to get Lance experience, but I don't want to have to like start using lances, you could try to find someone doing a seminar doing that. Battles are essentially a way of taking missions to go out and about and do fights, but we can't do that yet, and rest is essentially take the day off. I guess I want to explore the monastery again next time. So maybe I'll do that and then do the Bach battle, because this one has been going on for long enough. So next time, that's what we're doing. So until then, so long for all, and have a good one. Bye-bye.